all right so now let's talk about the built-in variables in powershell so uh, these are like the built-in variables that you don't need to initialize these are automatically initialized when you start any session so uh, the first one is the ps script root so if i type here ps script root all this will do is it will print the uh, root directory of the script in which it is running so here i have script.ps1 right so the script uh, is right here uh, script.ps1 and that is inside the root directory of the c drive and the powershell directory so if i execute the script it is going to print the ps script root while print the root directory of the script in which it is running so at some point you need to get the current directory the script root directory path you can use the ps script root environment or built-in variable in powershell and the next built-in variable that comes in every powershell script is the args so this this is kind of array which contains the argument passed to the script so if i just write host it or um, i just write it i come here to the terminal and pass some parameters let's say inside codes let's say proceed and then as a second parameter let's say 45 as you can see it does displace those parameters we can get any of those parameters by using index so if i say i only want to get the index zero parameter and execute the same script again as you can see the first parameter has proceed in this case which is a type string the next built-in uh, variable that comes in powershell we use it as the ps item so to demonstrate that let's use some command so let's say um, we have the ps right which displays the processes running so let's say i am uh, using ps and then i guess this is the alias of uh, git process so let's use the that instead let's say git process and i'm gonna loop through this so let's say for each for each object or let's do that in the terminal i will come here clear the screen and test this now if i find the flags so we need to pass some flags in order to get that so if i start the expressions let's say dollar underscore name and as you can see at this place the name so dollar underscore uh, or let's clear the screen again uh, so we can either use the dollar underscore which is also a special variable and built in special variable we can say in powershell uh, or we can use the ps item so uh, instead of this if i type the ps item as you can see it returns the same result so now we can use this in the script as well if i copy there from there and paste it here now this is uh, the same thing but instead like uh, as i mentioned before we can either use the dollar underscore in the loops or the ps item which points to the uh, object uh, of which this currently this loop is executing so this will be pointing to each object of this main object so if i execute the script which will do that two times we don't need any parameters uh, as you can see it works fine then we have another uh, built-in variable in powershell that is a uh, dollar question mark so to demonstrate that let's say uh, i want to get process not package the same command as we executed before and uh, let's say let's say i want to get some uh, process with the name so let's let's say i have a process name uh, let's say whatever okay this is going to be a uh, throwing error because this process does not exist so if i try that in the terminal as you can see um, it throws error so let's say i want to check where the execution of this process was successful or not so we can do that by using uh, the special or built-in variable that is the question mark so uh, this will contain either true or false values depending on the, the the command that was executed before this so if i write here let's say uh, write host and uh, the value of uh, let's say question mark or underscore question mark because the dollar, underscore, dollar question mark will return actual value uh, so or we can ignore that like this or maybe this so uh, let's use backslash and see how it goes so this will return either true but in this case it should return false because the whatever process does not exist 
I know. So uh, if I come here and execute the script, as you can see, the value is called in the command that is uh, git process take name, whatever throws error because the process does not exist. Oh, yeah, as you can see, the dollar is ignored, but uh, no, the dollar is removed, but the false is right here. Uh, another way, another way we can uh, get the error or uh, the result where the error is exist or not is by using the built-in variable that is error. Uh, so as we know, the above command will throw error. So let's say I want to uh, display the error message using uh, the built-in um, PowerShell command uh, uh, variable that is error. So let's say uh, the value, the value of error and uh, let's say i'm using this syntax uh, we can as we uh, discussed before that we can uh, use this syntax uh, to pass parameters to a string uh, using the uh, tag f flag and then here we will pass the parameters that we want to pass to the string so let's say uh, in the errors array uh, i want the first one and uh, here in order to display the message the actual message that is in the error uh, we need to pass the exception exception dot message uh, uh, attribute so uh, exception dot message so if I come to the terminal and execute the script again as you can see now we see the oh there is error in the command itself so message invalid argument right host so let's see uh, if I pass object oh yeah so uh, this will be considered object so we need to make it like an object um, object like so and let's see how it works so this will print the exception message uh, let's clear the screen and execute the script again as you can see now here we have the message of the exception uh, can't find a process with the name whatever we verify the process name um, and call this command again which comes from here as you can see right here so this is the exception and then from the exception we got the actual message so which means the dollar error will have all the errors that occurred but if we want to get uh, the first one we will use the um, index that is uh, that is the zeroth index because zeroth index is considered the first index right so uh, and whenever any error occurred uh, it is appending uh, to this um, error variable uh, at the top so uh, now the error with index 0 is the current error right so if we make another error uh, the latest error will be uh, at the index 0 so uh, we call the um, 0 um, index error and then uh, with the exception uh, message we got it like uh, like this uh, we call the exception uh, this will throw the exception uh, and to get the message we just uh, call the message attribute which returns the actual message but as you can see the exception and message is actually the same maybe in some cases it's not the same so that should be kept in mind so that's all about uh, some built-in variables in powershell um, hope you are follow al following along with me um, thanks for watching see you in the next section